All right, so this is our last section that we need to learn about for Unit 1, and it's called um, Solving First Degree Equations. So um, there's different ways to go about doing this. So let's just, uh, let's just see what we can do here. Um, the sheet that you have teaches it in a certain way. First of all, an equation is something that equals something else. So look over here. Um, it says x plus 1 equals 3. Well, it's an equation because it's something is equal to 3. A first degree equation, it's called the first degree because, um, notice here at the x, it's just an invisible 1 there. There's no 2 there or 3. So for this course, you're not going to be dealing with uh, 2s or 3s up here when you're solving these things. It's just going to be a 1 there, and uh, that keeps it a little bit easier for you. Okay, so here's how you solve it. You have some mystery here, plus 1 is equal to 3. And if you think about that for a little while, you're going to say, well, x must be 2 because 2 plus 1 is 3. And you would be totally right. But the questions aren't always that easy. So if you can learn how to do it in this way that we're going to talk about right now, then you can use that for tougher questions as well. Well, the book or the uh, worksheet that you look at, it um, uses this little chart right here. What it does is it says if we were to talk about a teeter totter or a scale, see right here? It's a scale. If you put the same thing on both sides, then the scale is balanced. Okay? So in this question, it's saying that x plus 1 is equal to or is balanced with 3. So what we do is we use some symbols here. x, at least positive x, is a square that's shaded in. Okay? A negative x is a square not shaded in. A 1 is a circle shaded in. A negative 1 is a circle that's not shaded in. Okay? So here I have written, here's the x right there. Okay? The 1 is right there. I just wrote that in. And the 3 is all three of these here. Okay? Notice everything's positive, so I've shaded everything in. All right. Now, if we were to solve this thing, you already know the answer is 2, because you know 2 plus 1 is 3. But let me just show you how to do it. Okay, what you want to do is get x all by itself. You want to get rid of the number 1 here. You want to get rid of it. Well, let's leave the x there. And we've got this. Well, actually, I'm not going to do it like that. It takes too much time. There we go. How would we get rid of this positive 1 here? Well, you do the opposite of what's positive 1, and the opposite is negative 1. So you just do that circle right there. But as soon as you put something on this side, this thing is no longer equal. You've just added something to this side, so it's going to flop down. You have to do the same thing to both sides in order to keep everything cool. All right. So if you're going to do this on this side, which is put a negative 1 here, you have to do the same thing on this side. Okay, now everything is great. Now first of all, because you put a positive one and a negative one together, you've basically got rid of that one. Okay, on this side, this negative one gets rid of one of these. Let's just pick the closest one. Okay, so what are we left with? We're left with x on this side. Let's move him over because he looks kind of, whoops. There we go. You can go right there, and uh, let's put the other guy right there. Okay, so we've just moved things around. What's the final answer here? Well, let's just write it like this. x equals x equals 2. And we are done the question. Okay? Now, I prefer, when I do these questions, to not use this teeter-totter sort of thing here. So it's up to you. If you want to keep using it, you're welcome to. Here's the chart that you can use. 
and your worksheet actually uh, has this same idea right on it. So let's look at a question together. This will be a question that you're going to get from a practice sheet. It says x plus 12 is equal to 30. Well, a quick way to do this is to say, I want to get x by itself. What's the opposite of 12? I want to get rid of this 12. What's the opposite of 12? Negative 12. Don't just do that to one side. You've got to do it to both sides to make things equal. So put the negative 12 over here as well. 12 and negative 12, it cancels. Okay, 30 minus 12, well, let's see here. First of all, we're left with the x all by itself, okay, because the 12s have canceled. What's 30 minus 12? 20, 18. We're done this question. It is solved. x is 18. If you wanted to check your answer, all you do is put the 18 right back here. 18 plus 12 equals 30. It's good. Okay, next question. These are all questions you're going to see on your next, uh, your sort of homework sheet that we're going to give you. Okay, how do you get rid of this positive 8 so that you get W all by itself? Well, subtract 8 from this side, subtract 8 from this side to keep things equal. What are we left with? W is equal to, what's negative 3 and minus 8? Be careful, it's negative 11. Check your answer. Negative 11 plus 8 is negative 3. We just checked it. It's good. Okay. Uh, one last question for now, and then let's go practice this on the worksheet. Okay. Uh, notice that this isn't written in the same order as before. That's no big deal. You want the n all by itself. You've got to get rid of this part over here. Okay. Remember, there's no sign here at all, so that means that that's actually a positive 15. Okay, it's invisible. Okay, subtract 15 from this side, subtract 15 from the other side of the, the old teeter-totter, and that gets rid of it over here. And on this side, we're left with n equals negative 15, negative 15, negative 30. Does that make sense? 15 plus negative 30, that's like saying 15 minus 30 is negative 15. We've done it. Okay? Practice the sheet, or practice the sheet that I, uh, that I tell you to do, and uh, you'll be okay on this stuff, and then we'll move on. Okay? Great.